Look now at San Francisco tonight, where this first weekend of eased coronavirus restrictions appeared to be good for business. KPX 5's Betty Yu is live on the Embarcadero with more. Betty. Juliet, it was bustling at many restaurants across San Francisco, both indoors and outdoors for the first time in several months. And restaurant owners said that this strong turnout gave them confidence that we're moving. Newly opened Peruvian restaurant Waranita in the Marina District says before this weekend, they had to turn some diners away because they were full outdoors. But this Saturday night, they were able to welcome guests for the first time inside their space. I feel great and I feel like we're going back to norm normality, you know. The atmosphere is great. Uh, people, as I said, is loving it. The music, the, um, the vibe of the restaurant, the colorful um, how it is, and also what we want to uh, give them with the food, that which is made with soul. Under the red tier, indoor dining is now allowed at 25% capacity. That means an additional 25 covers for Waranita. It's been gradually, you know, picking up. The first day wasn't that much because people are still a bit skeptic. Uh, but when they see us with the, 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 the proper guidelines that we are taking with making sure that they are safe even though indoors, you know, uh, taking the temperatures at the door, social distancing the tables. The current seven-day average of new cases in San Francisco is 56, compared with 170 one month ago. Restaurante Parma in the Marina says the addition of four tables inside makes a substantial difference for this family-owned establishment that's been around for nearly 40 years. Now nearly a year after the first shelter-in-place order. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, from sadness to happiness to... You know, being depressed and, you know, I'm looking a little bit hopeful, but I'm just tired too. It's, it's very emotional and draining at times and worrying. At least for tonight, this bustling scene served as a reminder of what owner Angela Alia loves about the restaurant business. And the Bay Area counties that could move into the red this coming week include Alameda and Solano counties. Jules, a lot of